Game Collector here. In this video, guys, um, I get very technical, uh, so bear with me. Um, but before I get technical, a um, rookie card to show off. Of course, this one is going to be filled with Maddox. Uh, really no autographs, so of course I'll have the Walt Disney in the background before I put that one back uh, away. But I do have a really nice rookie card in place of some autographs. Um, but uh, this one is, I'll show it off first, of course. And that is the 75 George Brett rookie card. So I'll throw that one there and then start getting technical. So here we go. When I mean technical, I mean Topps Tech, of course. Um, Topps Tech was a, a revolutionary product um, with tons of base cards with different patterns. And of course they had their hard to get versions. In 1998, the first year tech, they had 90 different patterns um, for the base cards. And their hard to find parallel was called the diffractor. I think I have one or two diffractors that I've already shown off, but I have two more 1998 diffractors to show off. This first one here is a beauty. The difference with the diffractor is it kind of has this cracked ice refractor to it, front and back. And this one is pattern number 74 of 90. Technically there are, uh, even though it says there's 90 different patterns, I think there's one diffractor pattern that doesn't exist, so it's really 89. Uh, anyways, this one here, the card actually, I like this diffractor pattern better. Um, this is diffractor pattern 52. I feel like this card shines even more too, like it's a fresh roll of foil or something. I don't know what it is um, better than the other one, but uh, I like this design better. Again, the crazy diffractor front and back, George Brett. You're gonna sit down. And the uh, these cards are very tough. I'd say the print runs uh, for diffractors is estimated at 10 to 20. Myself, I'm leaning towards 10. Why? Because the other two years, 1999 and 2000, they were actually serially numbered uh, to 10. So let me go to 1999, the next year. Um, they did not have diffractors per se. Their hard version was called the gold. Um, and they did not have 90 different patterns. They actually had 30 different patterns, but there was a home and a way picture. So in theory, there were 60 different cards, not 90. And, um, their hard one, like I said, was the golds. So I have two golds to show you. And again, I think I have a few other ones that I've shown off in the past. But here's a Tech Gold 99. And these ones are serially numbered. As mentioned, back is super shiny too. This one's numbered one of 10. And then this other one here is a different pattern again as well. Super shine, gold. And this one's numbered four out of ten and it'll tell you pattern 11 and it's uh a and then uh, there's a there's obviously a b which is, is a away jersey but yeah that's 99 um i'll take this one away and i'll put one of these 99s in and then i'll go to uh 2000 because 2000 had tech as well and i have one to show off again um not a diffractor like 98s but a gold like the 99s. And um, for this particular year, they reduced it even further to just 20 different patterns. So then there are 20 different tech golds. Um, here's an example of a 2000 tech gold. I think I have a few of these. I don't know what this is about, but it's whatever. I should crack it out probably. Um, these are serially numbered like that. This is number eight of 10 on the bottom right there. And this is pattern number, uh, card number 16, pattern number nine. And uh, yeah, so 2000 tech gold. Pretty technical. 
Moving on, I got this uh, nice trio from 1999 Topps Finest. There was an insert called Split Screen, in which um, it showed you know two different players. Um, this particular card is Greg Maddox and Tom Glavin. And um, I guess I'll show you this first one here. As you can see here, it's got a peel, um, but uh, Greg Maddox is not shine, not uh, refractor, and Tom Glavin is refractor. And then here is the variation where Maddox is the refractor and Glavin is not. So you can kind of see that. Um, these half refractors were one in 28 packs or one in 784. And then the third one, if you can guess, would be the full refractor, in which both players are refractor. Uh, so pretty cool. This is one in 82 or one in 1,148. So looking at all three together, pretty cool trio. Next, I take you to uh, 2012 Prism. I, like I said, my Maddox is 94 to 01, but I have a few cards that are outside the range. Um, these two are from uh, 2012 Prism, first year Prism, um, the uh, Panini Prism, that is. And I have shown the refractor, the Prism refractor, which is a big deal in basketball. But here is the, uh, the Prism Red refractor. So this one's a actually a Target exclusive um, Prism Red. And then this one here is actually an insert from that year. It's called Dominance. And this is um, the Prism Green version of that. There's different colors, obviously. Uh, but this is the Prism Green. And uh, this one is, uh, I think, retail exclusive. I think the green is retail, the red is Target, there's a blue Walmart, and then there is a hobby gold number to 10, uh, and then there's a one of one. Um, but yeah, that's that's Panini Prism. And last, I will go with this card here. A few videos ago I showed the harder to find version, but this is the 97 score. Um, this is the Platinum Team. I think the print run on these are 711, but they are just gorgeous. And uh, yeah, two years, I've. this is the first time being able to get one. Uh, I do have the hard one, which is numbered out of uh, 135, and it's gold. I just showed that one off a few videos ago, but this one's a super shiny, awesome card. And that's all I got for this short video.